What's up, guys? Welcome back to the second level with myself, Jordan, and Keegan. We are Hi. still playing Fuck, I love uh, Aladdin. And uh, Keegan didn't do the book. Well done, Street Rats! This guy, used to, he used to scare me in this movie. Just yeah. so you know, He's the, a pretty gross-looking dude. Jafar. Is that actually what Jafar looks like, or was that a disguise? I don't remember. I haven't seen this movie in so goddamn That was a... Because uh, I don't... Because... Oh, that's the guy that ate the sword. Didn't we already do this level? Oh, oh. this is a little bit different. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit different, just... All of Agrabah looks exactly the same. They, you had sprite limits, or not sprite limits, what's it called? Budget limits. Do you ever find that watching stuff like Disney, you get like weird impressions of what Whoa! reality is like? Whoa! What is oh, going Because yeah. whenever is, I watch this, I was like, oh, so this is what Egypt looks like. Yeah, I mean, this <laughs> just, is... Like, and I'm sure, like, to an extent, yeah, kind of, but I, I really mean, maybe back in, like, stereotypical. Like the 1400s, yeah. I guess. Can I? Okay. So just, we uh, yeah. ended last episode with you saying that, uh... Finding uh, Nemo was my favorite CGI yes. movie. So what is yours? Uh, so if we're going just like... How the hell do I get up there? Straight up, like, Disney. Disney. Actually, I'll, Disney. I'll, I'll, say, I'll say Pixar first. Um, it's a tie between either Ratatouille or... Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, or Wall-E. Uh, I haven't seen Wall-E. Yeah, I didn't... So, Wall-E's Wall an interesting movie because I'm a real hardcore sci-fi junkie. And Wally is like Blade Runner if Blade Runner was made by Disney. I need you guys' uh, help. What which do is I, do? Tight. Go I don't think you're right. going that way. I can't go to the right. There's a wall there. We'll go to the left then. <laughs> but that's where I just came from. It's a platformer, Keegan. I yeah, think you got this. There's two directions. <laughs> oh, there's another. Sh okay. It takes me up higher. Ooh, okay. I want these. Oh, no, damn oh, come on. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> what is that that comes out? Is that a snake? It's a magic rope. rope. Yeah. When did we get the... Uh, so anyway, Wally, -E, sci-fi, yeah. no, keep no, no, failing no. epically. Yeah, Wally, -E, because it's a, a really hardcore sci-fi, it's really slow, there's not much dialogue, it's... It's, it's a cool concept. Yeah, it's a really neat movie, I think. Ratatouille is probably just one of the best animated films ever Fuck made. You. As far as, like, actual animation, I agree. Yeah. Like, as far uh, as how it looks, it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, uh, I also just really like the story, I thought it was a really interesting idea, I like food a lot. Uh, Who doesn't? And I, I love... Uh, What's his? Oh, why am I drawing a blank on his name? Who was the rat? Uh, Just John Cusack or something. No, it was, the, it was the smaller comedian guy or comedy guy from uh, King of Queens. Um, uh, Patton Kevin Oswalt. Patton Oswalt. I was gonna say it wasn't Kevin James. Yeah. Uh, and I love Patton Oswalt a lot. Ooh, I so I probably say one of those two. But other than that, I gotta go with the original Toy Story. Like, yeah. That the Toy Story set off the three D animation. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. How much? And do you, fun fact about Toy Story: Do you know that re, Woody was initially a huge dick on the first. I mean, he's ride. still kind of a huge dick, but, but like, no, like, wait, like they had to rewrite it because they did a screen test and nobody liked them. Your huge dick is a Woody. Uh, uh, you know what's even funnier about that movie is that Joss Whedon wrote it. Really? <laughs> really? And most people don't realize or don't know that Joss Whedon wrote Toy Story. He, he I didn't that's know that. The, that's the uh, Marvel dude or the. Uh, well, Avengers I mean, he, guy. he is. It's the Buffy guy. Uh, Buffy and Dollhouse and... I still haven't seen Dollhouse either. Man, there's so many things I, I am so watch. confused. And oh. Cabin in the Woods. <laughs> How okay. did you not see the I other I got thing? it! Shh, Tom, I wasn't, know what I'm doing. Wasn't Cabin in the Woods partially done by Drew Goddard as well? Uh, yeah, it was co-written by Drew Goddard. What? See, I do enjoy Drew Goddard a yeah. lot. Well, Drew <clears throat> Goddard is like, I mean, just... Is just, uh, Joss Whedon 2. <laughs> 2.0? I wouldn't say he's 2.0, because 2.0, I feel like, insinuates that it's a better version of wow. the original. And Drew Goddard's not oh, a bad fuck. writer, but Joss Whedon's a better writer. Did, did Joss, Whedon, Joss Whedon, did he write the Avengers movie? Mm -hmm. He wrote that. He directed it, I don't too, know if right? he necessarily did everything about the script. I mean, no, I mean, there's always, there's, there's always multiple writers. But a lot of, like, the like dialogue is definitely Joss Whedon-esque, because Joss Whedon has a very, uh... Fuck you! ...specific style, of, or, like, amount of wit... To all of his writing, and a little bit of like hokiness to it. Hokey pokiness. Yeah, that's the one thing. But I think it works well in the Marvel universe, though. Okay. Well, I like. You know. I was kind of concerned when uh, what was the the Guardians of the Galaxy, just because it looked. I don't want to say stupid, but there's a lot of jokes in it. Yeah. And I was concerned of how that was going to play I out. I think they had like to it. do that though, because of how unknown Guardians of the Galaxy well, they, was before that. What movie. I was going to say is they did it really well. Yeah, like, I, I mean, thoroughly enjoyed that movie, and I didn't think I would going into it. Director's also from St. Louis, too. Is he? Yeah. Who directed that? Uh, Someone King, James King. Can I kill this guy? Is that what I'm supposed to, am I supposed to kill him? I guess. Okay, I killed I'm, him. I'm not really doing good <laughs> with names today. Uh, I, uh, I think I'm gonna die. My, my lamp is flashing. Sounds like a personal problem. Where the you hell might want to go to the doctor now? for if your lamp 
If your lamp flashes for longer than four hours. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking. Consult a These physician. rope things. James Gunn wrote it, or directed it. Woo! How, how? His brother's also an actor. Fucking He's Iago! From St. Louis. I just want to say that you guys are making fun of me, but I'm kicking ass at this game. This is literally my first time ever playing this game. I think you're. Uh, I just love Disney games. Oh, I didn't have to jump off. God damn it. Just stay on it. Yeah, I'm just gonna hang out here. It really looks like Aladdin's uh, sword is uh, sticking out of some places it shouldn't be. Like his dick. That? Yeah. I was trying to keep it PG for those viewers. But... I think we've already said fuck, so, I mean, that <laughs> Yeah, that's one of the things about this channel. Not PG. Never gonna be PG. Sorry about that if you're one of those people or those commentators that enjoys uh, Comment, not you mean... swearing. How the fuck do I kill you? I'm gonna guess it's the barrel. Apples! Of it's oh, yeah, I it, forgot I had apples. A is for you apple, like, I would really like to keep this PG and then, what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> you're gonna die, I though. Did. Oh. Damn it. It's alright, it's, it's the boss. Died. It's okay, like, you're supposed to die in the boss. Uh, <clears throat> I'm up to bat. Oh, God. Oh, my oh. God. What the crap? <laughs> Welcome to the game, Tom. Welcome Which to the... What level are we on? Third? Fourth? I wasn't uh, really sir. paying super attention, so can you tell me where I'm supposed to be going? I have no idea. That's health. That's important. this way. I want to say it's to the left. If you hit a wall, yeah, it's that way. If you've hit a wall, you've gone the wrong way. That's gaming one on one, right? I there. love so. I was I don't know who I was talking to, but like I was like I love platformers because there's only like two or three ways you can go. But clearly, I'm not very good at them. I really miss 3D platformers though. Like I really feel like that was a uh... ukulele. October 2016, and they brought another guy from Rare over that worked oh, nice. on. Um, he worked on Viva Pinata, which is. For newer rare games, I it's actually really good. I enjoyed Viva Pinata. And uh, I'm that guy. Else too. I thought it was a great game. It was super creative. Like, and there's no other game that's like Viva Pinata. You push, trying to push the wall there, Tom. I yeah. guess maybe Harvest Moon a little bit, I guess, but still not really. Like, it Viva was kind Pinata. of like the original Minecraft, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I but love. Weird. I mean, I love those weird. I I wish. Not that Minecraft. Is the fact weird. the fact that new. Well, okay. I'm gonna try and figure out my thought before I say it, but. Indie developers, I think, are in a good place right now that they can make cool gameplay games again because of the digital ability. You don't have to worry about printing discs or whether it'll sell big, because if you do digital, it cuts down on the cost of that. Sure. So I'm hoping... I mean, we've see, already seen it a few, with, especially on PlayStation Network, with them uh, doing the free PSN games, and now you can vote for them, by the way. Yeah, and I'm that. bummed, because Armello is the one that I want to have win, and it's not gonna win. Oh, uh, what's winning right now? Gone Home, piece of shit. Oh, I chose that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jordan! It's a four-hour tech demo, like, what, like... <laughs> oh, um, no! It's, let's make a game that's based around physics. Yeah, well, what I was, what I was gonna say <clears throat> is... Oh. oh. Yes, that's a yes. Yeah, to the right. Should we, uh, should we... Uh, Adam's, Adam's like, uh, 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 uh. Abu's like, go this way, you dumbass. He's like, I could keep that going, way, or I could go that home way. and have a beer. <laughs> and like, that way, to the right. Like, Jasmine's what just was chilling by that pool. Again? Well, you haven't met Jasmine yet. No, he's met Jasmine. <laughs> um, what I was gonna, what I was actually gonna say is, I feel like with indie developers now, the gameplay you can have a lot more fun with it, and there's gonna be a lot more creative, I think, gameplay styles versus. I want. I don't want to say that video games have been in the wall for a little bit, but it feels like they've not. There's not been that many different things. We've had well, five a Halos. We've had five. Well, twelve Call of Duty's. It felt like. Well, triple A games are boring as fuck, and we were just having that conversation before. Like, I mean, oh shit! I think I that rope will come back. Uh, no, I think that that guy was supposed to like magic it up there for me. Oh, see, so it'll come back. Oh, tight. All right. Just give it time. Uh, Thanks, respawn. But, um, no, like, AAA games are boring nowadays, and we were talking about, uh, Kojima and Metal Gear Solid Five before, and it's like, Kojima was the, oh, like, the biggest AAA developer who was allowed to, like, actually still be fun. creative, be weird as shit, and still get his games funded and brought out, but, you know, that's a... I will say the AAA, the AAA games that do really well, uh, Mario's game still, for whatever reason, they... I love it because they I tend think to bring back old feel from the games, like Firefly or stuff like that. But like Super Mario Galaxy Two, I think was the one of the greatest Mario games ever made. And considering Mario's been around for what almost thirty years now, 
it is impressive. impressive how they keep churning those out and making them good, but it's also kind of the main thing Nintendo is relying on at this point. Like, as oh, far yeah. as, in, as innovation goes, Nintendo's been stagnant for a little while. Oh, yeah. They've and not done anything new. Yeah, new it's almost coffee. like they are willfully putting themselves behind. Oh. Tight. That was cool. <laughs> oh. You know, it's like they have all this, like, this kind of uh, content. Yeah. All this content and all these creators that could really, you know, they just give the people what they want. Like, the people want an awesome 3D Zelda. Do it already. Like, I mean, I know, that's common. I know, yeah. but how long did it take to get there compared I mean, to how yeah. long we've been having these games? You think about, think back to the first God of War, the first uh, Gears of War, and you think about well, how long we've had you pretty realize. decent 3D graphics, and they could have been on that, like, right away. You know what yeah. I find interesting is the fact that I think we're in, we're, and it shows, we're in the year of the remakes. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. been, I mean, that shows you where a lot of these developers, like, what do we do? They're going to go back and remake their old games in HD, which I think is cool just because you can see the graphics. I think in some instances it's worth it. But I don't want them to then give up on, say, a new IP or something because of that. Yeah, the problem is that new IPs are dangerous nowadays. I mean, look what happened to Watch Dogs. The bu- budget's so big. Watch Dogs came out, they poured all this money into it, but the problem was well, that they, they got sucked. overridden. Like, a lot of decisions just you know, got turned around. The graphics took a massive dive and they never really finished it the way they wanted to. It got rushed. Yeah. And because it got rushed, oh, it. you know, not only did new IPs suffer, but also God. the developers of that I'm game. I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Oh, no, there's health. This cool. is how you die. I'm just gonna go. I'm not gonna kill him. Fuck you! Sorry. I mean, I can't think of a, a new <laughs> IP that came out and was um, as Decent. effective in recent years um, as something like Assassin's Creed. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, the when that came out, that was a new IP. It was risky, and it and it absolutely but, but nailed they did it. Three years ago, or two years ago, with whatever that one was. Yeah, I mean, they're they're getting stagnant now, but at the time, it was awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's why I think when like when Microsoft came out, when the original Xbox came out, think about how many new IPs they had to make just because they had to sell the Xbox. Yep. There is a uh, IGN has the three. They have the I can't remember the dude's names. But the, basically, the three people who were in charge of the Xbox when the Xbox was created, when the 360 came out, and then Phil Spencer is the one now, right? He took over from Metric. Phil Spencer, yeah. Uh, Phil, talk- I wear a game T-shirt, Spencer. <laughs> all talking, all talking about like Xbox through the years, and it's really cool. It's like an hour and a half long, but I recommend people go check it out because it's really quite interesting to hear the stories of like the first guy was like, we didn't know if we were gonna make it, like. The, the system, and the reason, like, Duke, as they call the big controller, I'm sure you guys know what I'm, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll probably put a picture up so you can see it, but Duke, the reason they had to do that was there's no, nobody could make a chip small enough for the Xbox to fit it into the smaller controller. Yeah. And that screwed them in Japan, which is when the controller, I think they called it Type S or whatever, came out, and they got bigger in Japan and then got some market share from Sony there, but it's really, I learned a lot from that. It was quite interesting. I keep, keep saying that, but it's true. Phil Spencer. <laughs> hey, uh, Tom, since yeah. you're struggling here. Uh, I'm not struggling. You want to call that an episode? Uh, I mean, you can call it an episode, call but I'm episode. doing great. <laughs> but Look at this shit. Anyways, thanks again, guys, for watching. Uh, Tom's going to kick that guy's ass. And, uh... <laughs> what we're going to... I was going to ask a question. Ah! ah! No! Nah, wrong, 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 wrong Disney ah! movie. Uh, but thanks again watch, for watching, guys. <laughs> I didn't speak English. In the comments, tell us how much you hate Phil Spencer, too. Uh, (laughs) Phil Spencer or Don Matrick, which one would you rather have? Die. (laughs) Anyways, thanks again for watching, guys, and as always, welcome welcome to the second second level. level. Bye. If Pixar counts, I'm going to say the first Toy Story. If Pixar doesn't count, I'm going to say Frozen. Because I love Frozen. I love Frozen for everybody else loves Frozen.